I talk a lot about the seller and what we do as salespeople, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, to start that sales conversation. But what does it feel like to be the buyer? Recently, I was in an experience when I went ahead and updated my website about a year ago and as I reached out to different people I had asked them can you provide me a quote for my website and the first person came back to me and says absolutely Cam we would love to give you a quote and they went ahead and asked me to fill out a Google Forms so they provided me a link and there was about 20 questions in there what are you looking for in a website what do you want to see moved what are the colors you like examples of other websites you've gone on and so on and so on with the final question at the end of it being what is your budget? And I had no idea. You see, I had only ever bought one other website in my life. And at that point in time, I had already outgrown it. I had no idea what a website would cost or what the difference is between a $1,000 website and a $100,000 website. Are you just paying because you're using a certain company or is there some type of fundamental difference between the two versions? At the end of the day, I gave her a number. I thought 5,000. I didn't really know. I didn't know where 5,000 stood as a reasonable price website. She came back, she provided me a quote. Okay, fair enough. The second website provider went ahead and he said, Kim, we would love to give you a quote. And he asked me to come into his office for a 20 minute presentation where he presented all about himself, all about the clients they've worked with and all the reasons why I should pick him. Pick me as if he's on a contestant sitting on a game show, right? I have the right answer. And I said, okay, well, fair enough. Tell me, what does you, these websites cost? And he goes, for you, for you, we're gonna give you a great deal. For you, we're gonna sell you a website for $72,000. And I choked because I didn't know what I was getting for $72,000. All I knew was that he was asking for that amount of money and somehow I would be along that entire slideshow that was being shown of all the different companies he had already worked for. And is that what I'm paying for? So I could be on his marketing materials and his slideshow to his customers? I wasn't really sure. The third company went ahead and they said, Kim, we get it, you know you want a website, but let's talk beyond that. Let's understand what would this ultimately allow you to do? How will this help you reach your customers? How will we connect with even more opportunities for you to build your business? What message do you want to convey? What call to action do you want them to have? Who's reading your website? And on and on and on. And not in a demanding way, but in a way that made me understand the journey and the path that we were going on. And we talked for another meeting and a third meeting and then the fourth meeting after we've had total clarity on what this ultimate website which was realistically an online brochure to my clients was going to communicate to them was going to get them to engage and to come into my own personal sales funnel so that we can convert them later on in our products and services i saw it because this wasn't where I was in this moment, because in this moment, I thought maybe $5,000 was all I was willing to spend on a website. After talking with the third person, we started to predict where my business could be. How much more revenue could I gain? How much more clients could I achieve? How much more profitability would we grow? And suddenly, the investment I was ready to make was based on that new information, that prospect of where I would become after I've gone forward on that. And it was easy at that point in time to justify the price at five times more than the original quote. As a buyer, it was not up to me to tell what the price was that I was going to pay because this wasn't a price. This wasn't a cost. This wasn't a spend. This was an investment and an investment would say, I'm going to give this amount of money and this is how it's going to build my, my business in return. For this investment, I expect this result. 
The third website provider succeeded so well in this because they allowed me on that journey. And if you want to be a company that helps others really develop that entire journey, really develop the skills, the growth, the expectations, come check us out. We would love to help you with your sales strategy and your sales process with KO Sales U. If you want to just have a conversation, connect with us online. Give us a comment below and tell us what was your favorite buying experience and what made it so great. Because when you understand as a buyer what works so well, you can translate that to a seller relationship. We'll see you in the next video.